First and foremost, before I get started with this lesson, I would like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Ra Kahakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule well and have taught me this truth. Peace and salutations unto the hopeful elect, the temple of King David, scattered through the four corners of the earth. And to you, I say, Shalom. Hey, Shalom to you, Akiam. Shalom to you, very few Akwaf. Shalom to the hopeful elect. And now, this is going to be a real quick lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Al Bashai. And Yahweh Roth desire this lesson will be edifying. And uh, this video here was uh, uploaded on the channel to through and info. And uh, Yahweh Roth desire, I'm going to leave the link um, in the description box. But, uh, you know, this Jake right here, I'm going to let you just, you know, hit. We'll let you watch the video and I'm going to grab a few scriptures and I'm going to end the lesson. But um, this is why we should fear the Lord, man. Right? This is why we should definitely, definitely fear the Lord. You know? Now, I'm going to play this video here. Listen to this. Now, I want to stop right here because, you know, I'm reading this caption here and it says, everybody is gangster till they hear their sentences. You see that? And that's right. You know, and that's why we're telling you individuals out there, you men and you women, right, to seek the Lord, man. You know, scriptures tell you to, to uh, uh, um, matter of fact, let's go ahead and grab it. I got a few scriptures pulled up, but, you know. No, uh, disregard these. This is the book of Ephesians, chapter 5, and I'm going to read verse 15. It reads, see then that you walk circumspectly. You see that? Not as fools, but as wise. You see? So this guy right here, obviously he was walking around as a fool, man. You see? And this is what happened to you, individuals that want to walk around and be a damn fool. Either you catch, either you receive judgment you see that? Or you find yourself uh, uh, getting locked up somewhere. And that's judgment too. You see? Because what go on behind them prison walls? Hey, man. You know, I ain't even venturing there. You see that? But we telling you individuals, man, you know, to, to walk circumspectly, man. Let's read the next precept. I mean, it reads, redeeming the time. You see that? And Jake is not redeeming the times, man. That's why, that's why, matter of fact, redeeming the times because the days are what? The days are evil. You see that? So you definitely need to be redeeming the times or you're going to find yourself out here. Matter of fact, let me see. The brother, uh, let me see. The brother just actually did a lesson. Damn it. Yeah, he actually just, he just did a lesson called uh, GMS North Carolina 777. Um their sound went out into all the earth. And that's right, man. Our sound is going out into all the earth. And we're warning you so-called Black Slack and Native Americans, but if you refuse, this is what's going to happen to you here, man. Either, either judgment as far as death or this, man. Look at him. And then, he, and then Jake's sitting there with a damn... A damn, uh, 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 we call them damn things, an Allah hat on. That's what I call them. Allah hat. Allah, 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 Allah hat. Hey, through. Let's go read, let's read some of these comments. I said, uh, that's what we call duct tape. You see that? Jake got them football numbers, years, Hebrews 10 and 30. That's right, man. He, matter of fact, let's go ahead and grab that real quick, man. Let's grab that real quick. And again, Shalakia, you know, let me see. I don't have anything lined up. Let me see. Uh, she's like, oh, it's Hebrews 10 and 31. This is the book of Hebrews, chapter 10, verse 31. It reads, it is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power, Yahweh. You see that? So I actually need to go back and uh, 
fix that. Let me see here. Let me slock you. <laughs> okay. Well, yeah, man. Let me see. Uh, read some more of these comments. It's a halftime pill line. Bring it to the gate. Let me see. Uh, then Jake. Let me see. Then he's, then this brother here said Jake thought that Koofy, that's what it's called, a Koofy and a dirty rag was going to save him. Esau giving out years like candy. You see that? Big Bubba loves gangsters the, the most. He going to have 43 years of playtime. You see that? So I guess this Jake got 43 years. Let's read this brother's comment. GMS uh, Virgin Island Straight Gate. Colossians chapter 6 verse 7 it says, Be not deceived. The most high is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, right, that shall he also reap. See that? So. Because the um, nerves we have to find, kind of 11, the disrupting public service, and finally in fourth degree, I said two to 12 months. Yeah, I'm going to say something else too. When, when, pre when the heavy persecution comes, Right, and Esau start throwing them football numbers out there because, you know, referring to the book of Revelation, it said that uh, Esau pretty much is going to, you know, uh, um, well, you, well, you shall be tried 10 days. You see that? That 10 days could be, you don't know how long. So you're going to have a lot of people, a lot of bug outs, a lot of reprobates that's going to be looking like this here, man, in these, in these days to come when Esau come in like a flood. You see? They're going to be crying and bugging out and calling on whatever God they worship like this dude. See, that's why scriptures say wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of that time. But whatever this dude right here did, you know, this this is judgment. You know, and we tell you individuals to, you know. <sighs> Listen to this. 43 and a half years. I don't think there's any half. 43 straight, right? Bullshit, Look. Bullshit, man. Nah, it ain't no bullshit. You see that? Now Jake bugging out. You know, when, when you want to live a, a, a wicked life, right, don't be surprised about the results, man. You see that? My father always taught me something. You know, it was worldly, but, you know, he said, think about the end before you begin. And I still think about that now, man. Right? And a lot of people out here, they don't think about that. They don't think about the end before they begin. So when you want to go out here and rob somebody and steal or whatever, they murder, right? You better think about the end result, man. And Jake doesn't think that way. Right? Because Jake doesn't have knowledge. Scripture tell you that our people are destroyed. For matter of fact, let's go ahead and grab that. Let me see. Destroy it for a lack of knowledge. Let me see. Uh, like I say, just something real quick through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem This is the book of Hosea, chapter 4, verse 6. It reads, my people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. You see that? And if Jake had knowledge, he wouldn't be in that situation, man. Because thou has rejected knowledge. You see that? And our people, they reject knowledge. You know, and I'm pretty sure he did too. I'm pretty sure he heard about the Hebrew Israelites, but he said, F them, right? I'm going to be a Muslim. You see that? And look what being a Muslim got your ass. Let's keep going. I will, I will also reject thee that thou shalt be no priest to me. You see that? And that guy there, he's not a priest of the Lord. He's a priest of Allah or whatever bugged out God. Seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy God. You see that? I will also forget what thy children. You see that? So a lot of you guys out there, you know, this this is another form of judgment. See that? Whether you're getting put to death or, or thrown away, it's the same thing. You see that? Your ass is gone. Three and a half years. I don't think there's any half. 43 straight, right? 43 years. Like Hey man, 
That's why scriptures say, make no tarrying to turn to who? Turn to the Lord. Let's go ahead and grab that real quick. I don't know, I don't know if I grabbed that. Let me see here. And I think I'm going to end this lesson, man. You know, just something real quick. This is the book of Sirach, also known as the book of Ecclesiastes, Kush, chapter 5, verse 7. I want to bring it out because, again, that is another form of judgment. Sirach, chapter 5, verse 7. Make no tarrying to turn to the Lord. You see that? It didn't say make no tarrying to turn to Allah. Make no tarrying to turn to fake white man Jesus. Make no tarrying to turn to Buddha. Make no make no tarrying to turn to uh, 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 Santa, Santa Maria. You know, make no... It, it, come on, man. It says, make no tarrying to turn to the Lord and put not off from day to day. You see that? And that guy there, he got a lot of time on his hands, right? Anyway, for suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth, and in thy security thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. You see that? So make no tarrying to turn to the Lord, man, or you're going to be destroyed out here. And, you know, this guy right here, he's destroyed. He's gone. You know, so I'm pretty much going to end the video right. I ain't going to beat no dead horse. You know, just figured I would show you brothers this, man, because this is, an, again, this is another form of ju judgment continues, right? You know, so, you know, everybody's a gangster till they hear their sentence. Shalom.